Hi, and welcome to this technology tip episode for how to use Google Docs. So you'll start off on the Happy Valley website and you'll click the tab that's called Students. From there, you'll choose Google Apps for Students Login, where you'll be prompted to enter your username and password. So your username is generally your last name and the first initial or so of your first name. And then your password is a six digit number that you were assigned. And you'll notice that's your email address also. So then you're gonna sign in and once you do, you can create a document. So the way you do that is you click the create button and then choose document. And you'll notice that now it's called untitled document, which isn't a very good name for it. So by clicking on it, you'll be able to enter it, give it a new title. And you'll want to name it something appropriate that really identifies the assignment easily for you because as you have a number of assignments in your Google Docs, you'll want to know which one is which. I generally like to put my title centered on the top. And you'll notice that I just pointed towards my email address that you'll see in yours will end in nclack.org instead of the teacher extension. So I center it and make the font larger, and you'll notice this is just like any other word processor. Once you have a file created, you're going to want to organize it. And the way to do that is by clicking on the Documents button. And just like you created a document before, now you're going to click Create, and then you'll choose Collection, which is the one that looks like a file folder. The same way as naming it there, but this time you'll want to use your name and the class that you're using the folder for. Um, I like to put the year after it so you'll know from year to year because you'll have this account throughout your school experience. So when you click the home button it shows everything you've created and I'm simply going to click on my document and drag it into my collection and then it's now organized in there. Now the best part about this is you can share the file with your teacher. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your collection and then the down arrow and then click share. From there where it says add people you're going to begin typing your teacher's last name and their email address should show up. You want to leave them with editing power and you can unclick the box that sends them an email to know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and click OK for skipping instructions. And now any file that you have in your collection is shared with your teachers. So I hope these tips were helpful and thanks for watching. Thank you.